Hello everyone, today I have this endgame study here for you. This study was composed by Josef Moravec. He was a Czech composer and he lived in the 19th and 20th century. I personally don't know too many studies by him, but um, this one is certainly one of his more famous studies. And yeah, please pause the video and try to figure it out. I will now um, show you the solution. So the winning plan for white is kind of simple. We want to use our king to take this pawn and then we want to have a winning um, pawn endgame with the pawn up here. Um, however, there are a couple of things that we should watch out for. So um, I will show you the most obvious approach, which is um, to bring the king here. And um, if black prematurely also brings his king, then white will actually have a winning pawn endgame here. So um, it's very important. Our king is in front of our pawn, and um, this is an easy win. But um, black has a better try here. He can play h4. And if we now try to go for this pawn, black has this idea of um, sacrificing his pawn here. And if we take, then um, it's an h-pawn. And with the h-pawn, we're not going to win. And we can see here, yeah, black is in time to put his king in front of the pawn, and it will be a draw. Um, another thing that we could try is that after h3 we play g4, so we're trying to keep our pawn on the g-file and don't take um, towards the h-file. But here um, black is also in time to bring his king and now our king is not in front of our pawn and um, also this endgame would be a draw. Um, yeah. The other thing that I, I thought we could try is maybe to, to bring the king like this. So we are kind of losing a tempo, but we're um, at least at least we ensure that we can take the pawn with the with the king. But um, in this position, um, yeah, we're not in time to, to take the pawn. So here black makes an easy draw. But um, with this move king g1, I've kind of um, given you a hint. So um, the winning line is actually here to play king f2 first and only after h4 now we go to g1 and um, yeah if black brings his king here then um, we will be winning because once again our king is in front of our pawn and um, black also doesn't have the opposition and this is a win. Um, another line that's um, very important is that here, after black tries to sacrifice his h-pawn, um, yeah, trying to force us to play g h, we have to subtle move g3. So we keep our pawn in the g-file once again, and um, it turns out that we will be in time to maintain our king in front of the pawn, and if black goes here, we will be the one who has the opposition, and this is a winning king and pawn again. So, I hope you liked it, and I hope to see you in the next video.